In September, I'm attending the Victory Show, an event I've been to for the past five, maybe six years. It's a cracking event. But this year, I'm going to be doing something slightly different. So rather than doing airborne artillery, which I've done in previous years, I'm actually going to be portraying a, a trooper of the first SAS as they appeared during mid to late 1944 in Northwest Europe. So that meant I need to get some parachutist trousers, which is a bit of a minefield in uh, living history because there's no companies that actually make a very high-end museum uh, quality reproduction. We have the budget trousers, of course, from uh, places like Epic Militaria and also Soldier Fortune to a lesser degree. Um, which meant I needed to try and scour the market for something a little bit more appropriate. So that led me to these, which have arrived this morning. I'm really excited to open these. I haven't opened them yet, which is uh, rather unusual for me because I like to delve into things. But you guys will have the enjoyment of this. So let's open this up and find out what we're working with. So, long story short, I got in touch with a company called 49 to 40. Uh, fantastic uh, company. And what they do is they get 49 pattern battle dress, and they retailer it back to uh, World War II specific battle dress, so whether that's battle dress surge, or whether that's 40 pattern, austerity pattern, or in this case, parachutist trousers. And a lovely handwritten note there from Jonathan at 49 to 40. They're on Instagram. Uh, I'll put their link to their Instagram in the description below. Right, let's have a look at the trousers. So right away, I am getting this fantastic, uh, it's, it's proper surge. I mean, of course, it's 49 pattern um, battle dress, so it is the correct surge. It looks the part. It smells the part as well, uh, for anyone who's into that whole uh, sort of, you know, military sort of smell. Uh, these, I have to say, are strikingly fantastic. Ah, oh, brilliant. So, of course, this pocket uh, is the specific for uh, the, the parachutist trousers so it's got the two little pressed buttons and the one button on there and my gosh this is absolutely exquisite we'll show you guys a little look inside this pocket there is some serious skill and tailoring gone into this oh oh it's fantastic it's even got this sort of chamois leather lining inside as well that is that is such a positive point fantastic Fantastic, wow, I'm almost lost for words, which is dangerous when you're recording a video like this. It'd be, it'd be rubbish otherwise, or maybe it might even be better, who knows. First field dressing, excellent. So of course we have it on the uh, the front right sort of uh, thigh. Excellent, looks great. Uh, you, you, to be honest, you, you can't really tell that uh, up close and personal that these are actually added to the original trousers. So very, very heartily impressed with that. Ah, yes, this is something I'm very pleased with. So, on the uh, right sort of thigh on the seam, we have the little pocket here. So this is where the uh, Fairburn Sykes uh, knife would typically go inside there in that seam. Excellent, nice little press studs on there as well. Give you guys a little bit of a close-up. And you've got the little button there to attach the, uh, the knife onto. Wonderful. So, let's spin it round and, wow. Very, very impressed again. The two, a, a further two first field dressing pockets here uh, on the on the bum cheeks, and also a reproduction label. Now, at first glance, I actually thought that was original because obviously there would have been an original label, which of course is still here. Uh, so these were made in 1960 originally, 1949 pattern size 18, big boy size, largest one you can get for uh, World War Two, of course. Um, but yeah, it's actually, Jonathan's actually done a reproduction label on here, and this is very, very heartily impressive. So you've got uh, trousers, parachutist, size number 19. And as I, I'm always a fan of this, because as years go by and these maybe fall out of my possession and someone else gets them, they might look at these and think, blooming hell, these are actually original World War II uh, parachutist trousers. But what he's actually done, he's actually put his uh, company name on there, 49 to 40. So if you have a closer inspection, you will, of course, realise that they are not original but that's testament to the quality of work that Jonathan's done on these so uh, excellent very very pleased with these cannot recommend them enough definitely going to be using them in future uh, might even snazz myself a couple of uh, battle dresses from in size 18 big boy sizes and yeah very very impressed with these so I can heartily recommend 49 to 40 
Link to their Instagram page is in the description of this video. So if you want to put some business day away, I'm sure Jonathan will be very, very pleased to receive it. Uh, just before we go, another mention I'll give is I actually asked for an extra, extra inch to be put on the waistline here because size 18 fits me, but it's a little bit snug. So just having an extra inch is excellent. So Jonathan's actually managed to add an inch and a half to the waistline on these. These, by all accounts, are going to fit very, very well. So there we go. I would say reproduction trousers. I suppose they are to a degree. However, these are original 49 pattern, of course. But Jonathan, nonetheless, has done an absolutely sterling job on these. I am massively, massively impressed and cannot recommend him highly enough. So go and hit the link in the description. Join us as a member on Patreon. You can also send us a PayPal donation to help support the channel. Of course, we have the podcast and many other links in the world of Living History UK. So go and check the description out below and Jonathan's link to 49 to 40, just in case you want to snare yourself a pair of these, is also in the description too. Till next time, keep history alive.